Good afternoon, this is Keith All, and this is how to create a pivot table in Excel 2003 Part 2. So let's go over to Excel. And let's finish our examples here. In the first part, I showed you a couple ways to create a pivot table off the data set that we're going to use. Now I'm going to create a third pivot table. And this third pivot table will look like this and it's going to be the total sales amount see total sales basically for each of the sales regions okay here's the south region here's the north region for each of the sales rep in each one of those uh, regions here's a sales rep for the south here's the sales reps for the north region and it's going to um, summarize it by each of the months. So let's go over to let's see the data set and let, again to create a pivot table go up to your data menu option select pivot table and pivot chart report we're going to use this existing data set and we're going to create a pivot table click next and this is just the option if we want to use our existing data set that we already use for other pivot tables and we're going to select the first one click next we're going to select the option of create a new worksheet within this workbook okay now in order to create this uh, pivot table again we're going to be selecting multiple columns and rows we want the region we want the uh, by um, month the total sales amounts and the sales reps so in this area here of the pivot table we're going to drop the row fields which in this case is we're going to select the date because we want to summarize it by month so we're going to drag and drop the date field over here. Now to drop the data field, data items here is we're going to summarize it by the amount, the sales amount per sales rep and per region. So we're going to drag and drop the amount field here. Okay. Now we want to summarize it by the region and by the sales rep so we're going to select the larger group first meaning the region first and we're going to drag the region first drag it up here and now within each region we want to summarize it by the sales rep so we're going to drag the sales rep column drag it over here as you can see now we're summarizing the original data set by month by each of the regions Let's and then within each region we're gonna do it by sales rep as you can see we have the north region total south region total and then of course the grand total for all and then uh, we're gonna be given summarization numbers down below too so again if you wanna format these numbers select the range or select the columns do a right click after you select the range format cells we want to select the format of currency with two decimal sp spaces. Click OK. Let's widen these columns. And there we have it. That's how we uh, create the pivot tables. Now, one last option is if you could see up here, it says drop page fields here. So another way to use that option above there is let's say that we just want to have the same summarization here, 
but we only want to show it for the north region or the south region. So in order to do that, what we could do is we could drag and drop the region field up here. So I'm going to click on the region column, bring it up to here, and as you can see, it um, uh, now just displays the sales reps totals for each month of the year. And now if you can see up here it says the region and all. So if I do that, that means that if I select all, it's going to select all the region, all the unique regions. If I want to just display the north region, I could do that. Select north, click OK, and now this is just displaying the north region. If I want to do the south region, come up there, select south, click OK, now it does that. Now if I wanted to go back to where it's going to summarize both the uh, south and uh, the north regions, but again show them uh, a group for each of the sales reps, take this column up here, drag and drop it, and bring it back down into the columns field and I have the region first, sales reps next. So now you have your report back the way it wants. So I hope this um, tutorial was very helpful for you to better understand what pivot tables are and how to create pivot tables in Excel 2003. I again thank you for stopping by my channel and I uh, again um, I'll be creating more um, tutorials on Excel and uh, shortly in the future I'll be switching over to Excel 2013 version so I'll be doing my tutorials from there. Once in a while I'll go back to 2003 because I understand that some people could be using older versions, versions of Excel. Again thank you for stopping by this is Keith Hall and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.